Hello, I am Kaushik, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how you can troubleshoot SSH connectivity issues with AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Let's get started. Let's log into the AWS Management Console. Now, let's navigate to the Elastic Beanstalk Console and then identify the environment you are unable to connect to. Note the environment name. Let's now navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. The EC2 instances are tagged with the same name as the Elastic Beanstalk environment. If Elastic Beanstalk is a single instance environment, then the instance has to be in a public subnet. However, if you are using a load balanced environment and the instances are launched in a private subnet, then you can access the Elastic Beanstalk instances from a Bastion host. Let's consider a single instance environment. To check if the instances is in a public subnet, open the subnet ID page from the description pane. In the subnets page, check the route table configuration. As you can see, it does not have a route to the internet. Let us add a route to the internet gateway. If you do not have an internet gateway, refer to the documentation on the screen to create one. To add a route to the internet, choose the route table. This opens the route table page. Choose routes, edit routes, add route. In the destination field, add 0.0.0.0/0. In the target field, select the internet gateway. Choose save routes. Now, let's go back to the EC2 instance page and make sure that the security group has the required access. In the security group page, in the bottom pane, select inbound. As you can see here, there is no inbound rule allowing access to port 22. Let's add a rule. To do this, choose edit inbound rules. Add rule. In type, search for SSH. The port range will be autofilled as 22. As source, Enter the IP address or set of IP addresses that you will be using to connect to your instance. Choose Save Rules. If it's an elastic beanstalk environment backed by multiple instances behind a load balancer, in your security group, add a rule allowing the Bastion host IP access on port 22. Now, let us go back to the EC2 page and make sure that the instance has a public IP. Note the public IP as well as the key name. If the instance doesn't have a key pair associated, then update the Beanstalk environment by adding a key pair from the Beanstalk console. To add a key pair, navigate to the Elastic Beanstalk console. Select the environment followed by the configuration tab. Now, Select the security block to add the key pair and update the environment. Note that the instance will be replaced when we add a key pair to the environment. When we confirm this, check if we are able to connect. Open terminal. I'll use the key specified in the EC2 instance configuration and the IP to connect. As you can see, I was able to connect to the environment successfully. However, if you continue to face issues, there is a possibility that the SSH daemon on your AC2 instance could be crashing due to high resource utilization. To view the resources metrics of your Elastic Beanstalk instances, go back to the Elastic Beanstalk console. Choose the monitoring tab on the left pane you will be able to see the current state of the environment and monitor the same from here. Thanks for watching. 
and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.